This one is called Text Room, and basically it's kind of like Write Room for the Mac. And there's another program called Pi Room, also for Linux, that you can use. But uh, this is what it looks like. Go full screen here, F11. And all you gotta do is just type out whatever you need to type out. You know, good for people that are writers, college students, uh, whoever it is that, you know, writes on a, an occasion. And you have a focus problem, you know, you don't want all the distractions. That's why the UI is like this, it's all black. Um, because they, they don't want you to be distracted by some other crap that you have to uh, look at. And uh, a little bit difference down here is they have this uh, bar at the bottom. Um, good for you have, you know, you want the word counts uh, here. Uh, the file name. And um, the time in 24 hours. I think you can change that, but I'm not sure. So there's a little bit uh, differences here also. You have some other options if you press uh, F1. You see all your um, hotkeys that you can use. Like change fonts, uh, size, the font um, uh, that you use, and some other color options and all that. So l let me uh, show you some of those. So increase the font is control up. There you go. You can do that. And it's a bigger font. What else you can do? Uh, you can pick different uh, fonts for it. So let me go Arial Black. There you go. Um, oh yeah, change um, the colors because some people don't like green or whatever. You can change that to maybe a gray color. There you go. Nice on the eyes, All right? Um, oh, you can do some other crap in here like save, uh, insert date, insert time. Not a big deal. Uh, you can also find stuff. So control F if you want to find some stuff. There you go. Great for um, anyone that needs to write without any distractions. And um, uh, this one is a Qt app. So you know, if you're on KDE, you might you might want to use this instead of any other one. Um, <clears throat> I used uh, Py Room before, and um, I think that's more towards the GNOME side. But uh, this one is good for KDE uh, if you already have KDE. Other than that, uh, it's pretty cool. I like I like this little bar at the bottom. That's like the differences between um, this one and Pyroom. This one has more features also, I, I notice. Uh, so check one of those two out, either P uh, PY Room or uh, Text Room here. And um, they're both free. And I think both of them works on, uh, you know, cross-platform. Or maybe this one only works on Linux and Windows. But uh, check it out. See which one you like. There you go. That's it.